Alright. Alright, so your warm up is on the board. Numbers one through three with uh, fill in numbers one through three with answers from homework last night. So you're taking your homework from last night, filling in for 50, 55, and 60 miles per hour for three hours, 50, 55, and 60 miles per hour for four and a half hours, and 50, 55, and 60 miles an hour for 5.25 hours, five and a quarter hours. Then explain how you can find each answer using the table. So that's one explanation. The graph. That's two explanations and the equation. So you have three explanations of how did you find these answers using a table, a graph, and an equation. Okay? All right, begin your work. For some of those that did not complete it or didn't quite understand, Now's your chance. And I'm going to put parentheses up here in the book. That's what it looked like. When you get ready to multiply any type of fraction, change it into a decimal. over these, but it lights out so you can see that for a little better. All right, for three hours, three hours, Judd, 50 miles an hour, how long did it take, or how far did you go? For 50 miles, I'm not to stop and challenge whenever we're doing problems on the board like that, especially if you've already completed those, or if we're in the middle of something and we haven't completed these answers, don't be afraid. You, you may be wrong, you may be correct. Stick your hand up and say, hey, stop, that doesn't make sense to me. Or, I actually got this answer, and you may have done a multiplication error, or the person that provided the answer may have done a multiplication error, which happens, and it's okay that that happens. Do we agree with our answers now? Now stop. Okay. I need a spokesperson that's going to read for me. Um, Mr. Brooks, EQ, please. How do we create an equation to represent a word problem? How do we create an equation to represent a word problem? So we should have a clean sheet of paper with today's date in the EQ. Make sure your name's at the top in case we find it somewhere. That's what we're going to answer. We're going to be working on problem 3.2. And we're going to split up. These three tables are going to focus at the front board with Ms. Duran, and these three tables are going to focus with me on the back whiteboard. Mm -hmm. Should we everybody here? When Liz tells Theo about the idea to visit Wild Forward, he suggests she can check to see whether the park offers special prices for large groups. Have you ever been to a Six Flags or a park or a youth group or something like that and the price was cheaper because you had a larger group? That's what the um, park right, group is doing. She, she finds the information on the park's website. So I've got this right here, which is in your book. All right, let's look at our table. Record. Look at our table. 
your favorite? Long look title. Change your title. Yes. Okay. Um, at one hour, 94, we said that, or not one hour, one ride, 94. Right. Does everybody, if you ride two you rides, how many words? points do you have left? 88. 88. You ride three right. rides, how many points? 82. 82. 82. So matter, and and then Judd, what happens in between three and the, three and the next value? Um, it jumps two places. It jumps. Right. So at five, do we have 70 points left? Yeah. Okay. Multiply. Multiply. At seven, 58.
Can we like bring our book home and let them do what we did today? Absolutely. The question was, can you take your book home and let the parents do what you did today? Absolutely. And chances are your parents are pretty good at this kind of stuff. Because how many how many people in here have siblings? Okay. We've all been somewhere to an amusement park to Chuck E. Cheese and buying tokens for X amount of money or the Funopolis. I'm sorry, you guys are big, so don't want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. I'll go to Chuck E. Cheese. They are right. going to know and understand all about plugging in how many kids I have today in order to take them to this little fun place. All right, questions about this item? All right.